Oh, how cute is that dog? The community is rallying around a Roseville family and their sick one-year-old Yorkie. And we were going to have to say goodbye, and it was really hard on us. Well, the family's no stranger to loss and struggle, and now a vet tech is stepping in to help. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in Roseville with more on the fight to keep this beloved pup around for years to come. Ryan? Yeah, this family has been through a lot. They lost a son prematurely 14 years ago, and more recently, they thought they were going to lose this furry friend forever. That's until a guardian angel stepped in. Good boy. Good boy. He's in good spirits now, but this young Yorkie bandit has been down a long road in a short one and a half years. Jackie Peary spent thousands trying to figure out what was wrong with him, but after they learned it would cost thousands more to make him better, they made the heartbreaking decision to let him go. Unfortunately, we were going to have to say goodbye, and it was really hard on us, but we had prayed that somebody would be able to take care of him. Come on, Ricky! Enter their guardian angel. The big issue that brought him to the clinic was not being able to urinate, which is how we found his shunt um, and learned that it, he needs to be fixed. Veterinarian technician Cassidy Hansen heard about the family's difficult decision after learning about the heartache they'd already been through. He's the glue in their family. He's their only pet. He's really important to his little boy, and I'm just hoping um, through all of my efforts that I can get him back to his little boy. You see, the Peary's family already lost one son. She couldn't let them lose another family member. So she stepped in to give Bandit around the clock care, free of charge. Knowing that they recently lost a young son um, was, I, I just couldn't see them going through losing this guy as well. Peary says she and her husband lost their first son, Travis, who was born prematurely 14 years ago. 12-year-old Jacob was also born premature. In a way, Bandit's been the brother Jacob's never had. Well, him and Bandit are both fighters. They're, they're really trying hard to make it through. Hansen says that this dog, Bandit, is ready and or is stable for surgery, but the family and Hansen say that it's unclear on the time frame of when he will be going into surgery. Oh, we wish that family well. What a cute, cute dog. Ryan yeah. Hill, live in Roseville. Ryan, thank you.